Hey guys, so I'm out here in a freestyle bar and I'm gonna be betting the stalls here in a minute. We have a new bedding conditioner we're gonna try here. It's a product we get from our nutrition company. We get a lot of our minerals from. It's supposed to be a little bit nicer to work with than hydrated lime. They wanted us to try this out and they have this spreader tool. You hook a drill up to it, should spread it nice and even. You got this shoulder strap so you don't have to hold all the weight with your hand. Yeah, it does a good job spreading it out. Pretty efficient, nice and even. Now the question is, is this product gonna work as well as the hydrated lime? We're gonna do some work here in our special needs pen. Last year we put these two big ceiling fans in from Amerowind. We really like those fans for drying the bedding out and they do a good job cooling. So one thing with the ceiling fans, we don't have our water misters on anymore. We have a cooling system in our whole barn. It just puts a little bit of mist out in front of these fans, but we have these fans off now. Had the idea we could try putting these misters over above the ceiling fans and we kind of pull that water down through and throw that over the cows. That's the idea we had. So we're gonna try and rig that up here today, see if that works. These do a good job helping cool the air. Kind of feels like air conditioning when it's coming out and uh, doesn't use a lot of water, that's what we like about it. Getting these attached here, extended the hoses. We got the misters running now, two on each fan. Well, the one down there is not working right now, plugged up or something, but I think that'll be nice for them. Doesn't spread it out quite as much as I thought it might. You do feel it down here. I want to do a little bit of work on our corn silage shaver. Lately I noticed the chain's been slipping. This motor, uh, there's a chain that runs from that hydraulic motor up to the drum here. And it can start to shift back a little bit, get looser. Uh, I also noticed there's a little bit of oil leaking here, so I think we might have a seal out or something. Our third bunk of corn silage, we're starting to work back through here pretty fast. Worried we might run a little bit short this year. I did check just again today count how many feet are left trying to plan ahead here a little bit make sure we don't run out till fall but uh definitely going to be pushing it a little bit close it's not ideal my goal in the future is just to have more silage and storage so we don't run out and we can feed as much as we want yeah i'm going to go grab the skid steer we'll move this to the shop so i got tools i need Always get some silage that finds its way in here. I'm at least gonna get the chain tightened for today. I'm not sure if I can get the motor fixed today. This shaver is made by Hoover and they make a new one now that has direct drive motors on the end of the drum there so you don't have this chain. It's a little bit lower maintenance and I think a little bit more powerful too. So I just need to loosen the bolts on the top and bottom of this motor and then tighten these a little bit to pull it away from the the drum there to tighten the chain. I noticed it's getting a little bit dark outside. Going for rain today, potentially. We need it bad. This is about the driest I've seen it, at least the years that I've been managing the crops. So yeah, hopefully I can catch some rain on video today. That'd be awesome. And about 10 minutes later, it's starting to rain. It's an encouraging sight. Hopefully it opens up here and we really start getting some actual accumulation. Yeah, our little shower stopped. Gonna get this out of here. Gonna throw some grease into that skid steer while it's sitting right there. I should clean out this air intake filter. Yeah, 
And it looks like the chances of storms are over for now. Blue sky again. It really just drizzled a little bit. I thought it was gonna rain more. Go look at some crops a little bit. I do wanna do some painting here. So there was cabinets in our old house that we took out before we tore it down. And I'm painting them up. We're gonna put them in our new office. I'm trying to decide if I like this color. My wife picked it out, she likes it, so I think it'll look nice. Just gotta put the second coat on some of this and then we're ready to put it in the house. Hey guys, it's the next morning here. I just used the silent shaver. Worked a lot better, the chain wasn't slipping at all. I wanna load up our mixer here to get cows fed. Heading out to some of our fields now. I just want to see how the crops are doing. Been running a little bit dry, but things seem to be growing still. The corn really doesn't look too bad. It's still growing somewhat. Just slower than it would be if we had plenty of rain. One of the advantages to us being no-till, this soil just wasn't disturbed at all this spring, and the moisture that's in the soil definitely stays better. Now this ground hasn't had rain in five weeks. Soybeans are actually looking pretty good too. Pretty incredible how hard this ground is right here. The people ask sometimes how we irrigate our crops. In this area we normally get pretty consistent rain. Not a lot of guys are irrigating around here uh, but we do have dry years sometimes. We are thankful that the weather hasn't been crazy hot. The night temperatures have been a little bit cooler which helps keep the plants from drying out. You know with the corn being pretty short yet we're not Hopefully losing too much yield. Once it gets a little bit taller, it's gonna start trying to decide what size ear it wants to grow. And if it's real dry, it will you know, start preparing for a smaller ear. And then even if we get rain later, we're not gonna get the yield. I'm hopeful we'll just start getting rain here in the next couple weeks and everything will turn around. We still have plenty of time to grow a decent crop. It does get a little bit stressful. It, you know, It's amazing how much we rely on the Lord to send us rain. Some dry spots at the home farm, but this farm here looks really nice. Yeah, we're at the quarry farm. Beans look pretty strong here. These crops are bred to deal with some dry conditions and not get destroyed right away. So I was working in the shop here for a while. Got these cabinets all painted. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach these hinges. I got some new handles on the way too. These cabinets were still in really good shape. Sturdy, made of plywood. So the grain business across the road from us, they got a little building project they're gonna be doing. They took up a little bit of this field and hauled a bunch of dirt in here this spring. They were driving it from the neighbor's project actually across a couple of the fields that we farm. They're done hauling now, so we're gonna be able to plant corn in this last little bit tomorrow. They're running dump trucks across here a bunch of compacted the soil so they're using this bulldozer to plow it up a little bit and smooth it out. I don't think they're going to build a building this year but they had free fill local here so they decided to haul it in and make the pad ready. So it's the next day here and they got this land all torn up so I want to try to get it planted. Dad's gonna run over with this cold washer that the neighbor has just to smooth it out a little bit. Probably about half an acre or so that he's planted. That whole lane wraps around here, all the way back there to that building.
dug up a few rocks here. We got another rock. Got a little bit of corn seed left over. This is the same variety that's in the rest of those fields there. I'm ready to start planting here. So with it being so dry, my understanding is it's better to plant a little bit deeper, try to get down there into the moisture. Really gonna need some rain if we want this stuff to take off at all. There's a seed there. Definitely packed underneath that surface. There's some loose dirt and then it gets hard. Yeah, we'll at least put seeds in the ground. I have all but two rows shut off, filling the rest of this in. I guess that wraps up the planting for the year officially. Next week I want to clean the planter up, get it ready to sit for a year. I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. My dad and I are going to move these cabinets into my house now. Hopefully this video ends up being decent once I get it all edited together, but it feels kind of all over the place. We, uh, we haven't been super busy. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next one.